Modifiable Risk Factors for Alzheimer's Disease 9 Potentially Modifiable Risk Factors Contribute to Two-Thirds of Alzheimer's Disease Worldwide This is an analysis of the available evidence, published in the Journal of Neurology Neurosurgery and Psychiatry on August 20, 2015. 17,000 studies covering 93 different potential risk factors and more than 5,000 people, were included in the analysis by the researchers from the University of California, San Francisco. Dr. Jin Tai Yu, Department of Neurology, University of California San Francisco, USA. Suggest that preventive strategies, targeting diet, drugs, body chemistry, mental health, pre-existing disease, and lifestyle help to stave off dementia. This is very important because there is no cure for Alzheimer's disease. They found grade 1 level evidence in favor of a protective effect for the female hormone estrogen, cholesterol-lowering drugs, statins, drugs to lower high blood pressure, and anti-inflammatory drugs. They found the same level of evidence for folate, vitamin C, and E, and coffee, all of which were associated with helping to stave off the disease. A strong association found between high levels of homocysteine and depression and a significantly heightened risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. There is a high risk included in frailty, carotid artery narrowing, high and low blood pressure, and type 2 diabetes in the Asian population. High or low body mass index in midlife, and low educational attainment were associated with increased risk. High body mass index in later life, exercising one's brain, current smoking excluding the Asian population, light drinking, and stress were associated with lowered risk. The nine risk factors included obesity. Current smoking in the Asian population. Type 2 diabetes in the Asian population. Carotid artery narrowing. Low educational attainment. High levels of homocysteine. Depression. High blood pressure. Frailty. This is an observational study, so no definitive conclusions can be drawn about cause and effect. The researchers suggest that preventive strategies, targeting diet, prescription drugs, body chemistry, mental health, underlying disease, and lifestyle might help curb the number of new cases of Alzheimer's disease.